people. I can hear that. Maybe early tomorrow. So this is the this is the frame That's right. We originally used to joke about Walt Disney. Was <laughs> Good afternoon, everybody. This is a very exciting day for all of us here, and uh, really appreciate you uh, taking the time to be with us this afternoon. I'm Mark Coombs, Mayor of Cramie Township, as well as uh, Warden of Northumberland County. I want to thank Premier Wynn, Minister Leal, and MPP Lou Rinaldi for taking the time to attend today, as well as I'd like to extend a welcome to members of Thumbling County Council and members of our local municipal councils. Welcome also to County CAO Jennifer Moore and other members of county staff. It's a true pleasure to welcome all of you to this official opening of the Ontario Agri-Food Venture Centre. Northumberland County's overall vision is to bring together people, partnerships and possibilities for a strong and vibrant Northumberland. The Agri-Food Venture Centre is an example of this vision in action. It is the only one of its kind in Ontario, and it's all about making investments in our community that pay off. The centre creates the environment for new and sustainable business opportunities. The economic impact of the agriculture sector in our region cannot be understated. 44% of the land in the county is identified as prime, ag prime agricultural land, and the economic benefit to Northumberland County is between $160 and $180 million. By looking around today at the resources and the technology contained within this centre, you will see some key next steps in building on Eastern Ontario's agricultural strengths. Through the centre, users will have access to the latest technology in food processing and packaging to increase the season for local food products. Today, you will have a chance to view firsthand the possibilities that exist with this one-of-a-kind operation. You can talk to some of the staff and ask questions while sampling some food from our local vendors. So this is going to keep the, this is going to keep the going on to the... I want to see. But before that, we have some special guests that I'd like to say like to say a few words. And first, I'd like to introduce you to Dan Borowick, who's our sorry the county's director of economic development and tourism, to give you an overview and history of the Ontario Agri Food Venture Centre. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone, and um, thank you so much for being here. Um, you know, it's the collective support of all those involved that has made this initiative possible. And it's uh, wonderful to see all of those who were in some way attached to this initiative here with us today. It, um, it has been a journey, uh, a journey that's been built around a collective vision. And as Warden Coombs noted, the vision uh, which supports the county's vision of bringing together people, partnerships, and possibilities. That vision of people, partnerships, and possibilities has transformed itself into a group of actions that define the role of what the Ontario Agri-Food Venture Centre is. We very much believe that it is our role to invent, connect, create, and employ. To invent new food product ideas and examine their qualities and viability. To connect growers, processors, and end users to work collectively to ensure supply chain opportunities, to create not only food product opportunities, but create a culture that encourages local food development, and most importantly, to employ, to create jobs for youth, second source farm income, and new Canadian supports. All of this required investment, not only financial to build this critical piece of infrastructure, but investment in time to build trust and relationships which benefit every aspect of a rural constituency. That relationship building has proven invaluable over time. Consecutive councils have supported this project. Interdepartmental support from finance to purchasing to facilities management was essential to get to where we are. Many thanks to Jennifer Moore, our acting CAO and director of finance, to Carl Benito, our, our, our head of purchasing, and Mark McIntosh, our facilities manager as well as Murray Arthur, our engineering consultant, who on endless occasions would return in the morning, and thank God he did, with a solution. <laughs> um, the trust factor is no more evident than in our internal team of Joe Mullen, our operations manager, 
Tricia Malore, our agricultural manager, and Cass Bullard, our administrative assist, all of whom have shown incredible commitment to what can be done here. You'll have the opportunity to find out more about the various facets of this operation later. I encourage you to ask questions, any questions you may have, of those in white lab coats who are stationed in the various revenue generating streams of this facility. It will give you a sense of the capacity, the nimbleness, and the opportunities associated with the Ontario Agri-Food Venture Centre. This is an innovative centre of essential infrastructure that will support and develop second source farm income, create supply chain prospects, assist entrepreneurs in moving their ideas forward in a fis fiscally controllable environment. And what we appear to be finding most gratifying is how this facility is becoming a key component in, in business attraction for Northumberland. We are honoured to have the Premier, the Minister, our MPP here today, and thank you for this show of support. Thank you very much, everyone. Thanks, Dan. And it's always a good day when Lou shows up, and it's even better when he brings some friends. So I'll turn it over to our MPP, Lou Rinaldi. You know what? Uh, yeah. Notes are great, but you've got to have them with you, right? <laughs> It has been a busy day. Um, I tell you, and I don't know how this lady behind me does it because I only did a quarter of what she's doing today, so Premier. Um, you've heard me speak before and I'm not here to prolong with the speech. Uh, I just want to make sure you can hear me because sometimes these podiums, uh, you won't be able to see me, so doing a, doing a bit of a sound check. Um, first of all, uh, before I introduce uh, the Premier, that I'm so delighted she's here today, uh, I'm not sure who's to receive this, but maybe uh, uh, the, the, the county warden and the mayor of Cremi Township. I do have a certificate to recognize this day, Mark. Congratulations. Uh, and I'll just say this has been a while coming, not that long, frankly, but it's great to be here today to be able to turn the key on that door that opened for business. And uh, I know that's going to be important. And I can also tell you that, as I told the Premier a few minutes ago, uh, the rest of rural Ontario is watching us today. Uh, because uh, I tell you, as I meet with my colleagues from across the province, certainly they know this is happening. And uh, it's, uh, it's, so it's a good day for Ontario. And of course, a better day for Northumberland County West. <laughs> uh, so at this time, without further ado, and she does not need much of an introduction, we're both from a class of 2003, and then I take a couple of years off, and what does she do? She becomes premier. <laughs> so uh, anyways, uh, a lady that, uh, frankly, I'm here today because of her. And I would say that uh, uh, in a real meaningful way, because uh, I've never, never seen such a passionate person to tackle any issue of the day, whatever time of the day, in whatever month or whatever year. <laughs> So without further ado, you really came here to hear the Premier speak. So Premier, welcome to Northumberland County West. Welcome to Cremie Township, Northumberland County. It is great to be here. I know it's a Friday afternoon and the sun is shining, but this is so exciting. I cannot think of a better reason to be inside than uh, an exciting project like this. So um, thank you so much for having me. And uh, Lou, thank you for that warm introduction. Um, it's just, it's great to be here with all of you. Um, and I want to thank, uh, I want to thank Jeff Leal, our Minister of uh, Agriculture, Food and Rural Affairs for being here. And I just, I just want to say I have been the Minister of Agriculture culture and food. And I know that uh, Jeff has been all over the province and he has visited communities where people are growing and looking for ways of processing their, uh, their produce. And 
neither of us has ever seen anything like this. So when, um, when Lou says that the rest of the province is watching, I would suggest maybe the rest of the country is watching because I think this is, uh, this is really unique. And so um, I want to thank, uh, thank Joe and Dan. Thank you very much, um, jo Don and Joe. Where, where's Joe? He was around here somewhere. There he is. He's back there. Um, thank you for the tour. Um, but more than that, thank you for your imagination. You know, because there is a lot of imagination that went into dreaming this up. And I, I know, um, Tricia, Tricia, we talked about the surveys and the, the evidence that you used to develop this model, but you had to have the imagination, you had to have a bit of a vision of where you were going before you started. And I just think, I just think it is fantastic. Um, you know, when people talk about uh, the history of our province, you'll often hear them say, Ontario was built. But really, Ontario wasn't just built, it was also grown. This province grew, and uh, out of the rich soil of uh, this wonderful place, we, um, we have benefited from the hard work of the farmers who settled here to create a better future for their children and their grandchildren. So our agricultural roots are very, very deep in this province. Um, it's their talent and their determination that has allowed Ontario to emerge as one of the most vibrant and prosperous places to live in the world. We are blessed. And our agri-food sector is one of the fundamental strengths of our economy. And it has been in the past, it still is, and we want it to stay that way. And this kind of innovation is what is going to be necessary in order for that to be the case. So I am, I'm more than encouraged. I'm really excited about this new agri-food Venture Center. Um, I'm excited about what it's going to do for our farmers. I'm excited about what it's going to do for this region. And I'm excited about what it's going to do for the industry. Ontario farmers deserve every opportunity to get their products on tables. That is, that is what uh, we have to facilitate as communities and as government. And so this center will support small batch production and processing of fresh food and, veg and vegetables, and it'll, it will enable farmers to provide added value to their customers. It will work with startup companies to help them expand their operations and create more jobs in the sector. You know, when we talk about startup, often we think about the tech the tech industry. We think about digital. We don't think about farming. So we have completely revolutionized that word as of today. Startup, we're talking about startup innovation in, uh, in uh, agri-food. And it's, it's more than startup. It actually goes more than beyond startup and goes into how do we commercialize, how do you scale up, how do you actually uh, get those companies to be able to expand their operations and create more jobs in the sector. And it's going to inspire foodies <laughs> by spurring the development of new recipes. I was just in the room where you could be doing salsa and pies and um, all sorts of things at the same time. It's, it's fantastic. These are just some of the fantastic benefits that farmers and consumers will, re will reap as a, a result of this center. And that's why I am so proud that uh, our government is able to support it. Um, you know, that's what, that's what government exists to do, is to support the creativity, the innovation, the, uh, the hard work of the people who live in this province, and to help people do things that they couldn't do without government. If it were possible for all of the small producers who are going to benefit from this centre to do these things by themselves, then they would do them, because that's what people in Ontario do. They find ways to do things. But the fact is that this equipment is not, it's not possible for small producers to purchase this kind of equipment or to get the kind of expertise that they're going to be able to get by renting space and renting the people, apparently, renting the brains of the people who are going to be working here. That sounded very bad. <laughs> and I just say, it's not in my notes, so nobody wrote that. But, but you're renting expertise as well as renting space, which is just such a great, great concept. So I'm thrilled that we're funding this new Ontario Agri-Food Venture Centre with a contribution of more than $500,000 from the local food fund. It is just a terrific use of that funding. Yes, it's great.
So with the investments that we're making through the local food fund, our government is increasing awareness of and demand for the good things that are grown in Ontario. And the way the local food fund came about was we were having a conversation um, when I, I was still Minister of Agriculture and Food, Jeff was Minister of Rural Affairs, and we were talking about the Jobs and Prosperity Fund around the, the uh, cabinet table. And the Jobs and Prosperity Fund is money that we use to support businesses, whether it's the auto sector, whether it's other manufacturing, whether it's uh, the tech industry, to support companies and to help them to uh, either get started or stay started and expand. And I said at the time, supported by Jeff, that I wanted to carve out a section of that fund and target it at the agri-food industry. Because what sometimes happens is that agriculture and food can slip through the cracks in terms of investment in new industry, and we didn't want that to happen. So as we have talked about new industry, expanded industry in this province, we're making it sure that the agri-food sector is on the table. So we want more people to shop locally. We want them to attend farmers markets and look for the Foodland Ontario logo at the grocery store. So the local food fund has supported innovative local food projects that create jobs, stimulate investment in the agri-food sector, and celebrate local foods. It's, that's just one of the ways that uh, the government is supporting the agri-food sector, but it's an important one. In 2013, when I was Minister of Agriculture and Food, I, I issued a challenge that Jeff is now having to realize. Um, I issued a challenge to the industry to double its annual growth and create, double its annual growth rate and create 120,000 jobs by 2020. Now that is an ambitious goal, but we are making real progress. And what people in the sector have said to me is the fact of having that target is helping because it's giving everybody something to work towards. In our 2015 budget that we released just last week, we noted that the agri-food sector created more than 17,000 new jobs between 2013 and 2014. That's a significant increase and that's the kind of momentum we need to keep up. And I think it shows how we can achieve that ambitious goal together, particularly if we capitalize on the exciting opportunities in international markets. Um, Minister Leal and uh, Minister Chan, uh, our uh, Minister of Citizenship and Immigration and Inter uh, International Trade, just returned from a 10-day agri-food trade mission to China. And uh, they led a group of business leaders to five major cities, including Beijing, Nanjing, and Shanghai. The trip was a great success. And when I was there in November, I determined that the next trip out needed to be by Jeff Leal because there was such a demand for food, there was such an appetite, literally, for um, Ontario food and making connections with uh, Ontario's agri-food sector. So. Um, the Ontario businesses that uh, travelled with, uh, with Minister Leal, or Jeff as we call him, um, uh, signed new deals with Chinese ventures in most of the cities that they visited. For example, Pilateri uh, State's winery has signed a $6 million agreement with Hairware, Hair Wine Company in China to help meet the growing demand for Ontario ice wine there. Two other Chinese companies have committed to purchasing $2 million worth of Ontario maple products over the next two years, including maple syrup. Can't get more, much more Canadian than that. And uh, the Chinese market is already, as we stand today, Ontario's second largest agri-food export market. But there is tremendous growth potential, and that's, uh, that's why we want to help more Ontario agri-food businesses to tap into it. If we can support farmers and producers, we're going to ensure that the province can continue to grow. That's how important the agri-food sector is to, uh, to Ontario. So I just want to thank everyone who has worked so hard to make the Ontario Agri-Food Ventures center a reality. Um, I applaud your hard work, your dedication, and your imagination. By working together, supporting each other, by going home at night and coming home with the solution the next day, as Don said, um, we can ensure that uh, Ontario is a province not just known for what we build, but for what we grow. Thank you very, very much. And I'm going to ask Jeff Leal to say a few words. So, Joe Tom, as the folks in the Premier Kill the Prince, are they going to be using some of those facilities? Yes, absolutely. They're interested in coming in. And, uh, you know, they want the Premier's own agriculture. Avery Quinn? With kale chips. So, they're just on the road. Yeah.
but they're going to use some of this. Well, it's wonderful. I rarely uh, get the uh, Premier introduces me. It's usually the other way around. So, Premier, I want to thank you for that today. And uh, Dad and Mayor Mark and the great business leaders and uh, municipal leaders from the great riding of uh, Northumberland, Equity West, a great pleasure to be with you this afternoon. And I want to um, thank someone personally, my wonderful friend and colleague, uh, Lou Rinaldi. You know, Lou um, took a short sabbatical. Okay, back in uh, 2014, uh, with great renewed vigor to represent you each and every day at Queen's Park. And let me tell you, let me tell you, he's a champion day in and day out. And he's the kind of person that I want, you want, and the province of Ontario wants in public life. I also want to thank Joe and Dan for the tour of this, of this magnificent facility. And I think the Premier hit the nail right on the head. Ontario's agriculture and agri-food sector is an economic driver of this province, contributing $34 billion to our economy and employing over 780,000 Ontarians each and every day. As Minister of Agriculture, Food and Rural Affairs, I have the privilege of representing the farmers, food processors, and rural communities that make up this thriving sector. And whether I'm at the kitchen table, on the back concessions, or halfway across the world in China, I'm steadfast in my support and promotion of our agri-food sector. While agriculture is vital to our economy, it's far more than an economic indicator. It's a way of life that has existed for generations, made up of a unique culture and work ethic that is second to none. And as one William Grenville Davis used to say often when he was Premier of Ontario from 1971 to 1984, that Ontario is still a province of small towns with big dreams. It represents one of the foundations of our province, but also has the great opportunity of the future. This opportunity is mo no more evident than a wonderful facility like this. After years of research, partnership development, planning and construction, this state-of-the-art facility is now ready to provide local food entrepreneurs with the business supports they need to grow and succeed. It will also provide, provide an important value-added opportunity for growers, support the development of new products, and help increase knowledge and linkages between our farmers and consumers. Before even breaking ground, this project was groundbreaking. It was brought together the largest collaboration of municipal partners to conduct Ontario's first regional business retention and expansion project fo uh, focused solely on local food. We're all thrilled to, uh, to celebrate this and support the centre through our local food fund. It is a world-class example of how innovation in agricultural food can create an opportunity for the future, and it's the key to meet a Premier Wynne's growth challenge. As the Premier mentioned, Minister Chan and I recently returned from a trade mission to China. Ni hao, ladies and gentlemen. This was Ontario's first ever led agricultural trade mission. It allowed us to build on the momentum of the Premier's mission to China last fall and set the stage for increased trade and investment. During the mission, during the mission we achieved three primary objectives. We facilitated over 300 business-to-business -business meetings between Ontario companies and Chinese purchasers and investors leading to both medium and long-term sales. Second, we provided the Chinese government and Chinese businesses with a better offer, opportunity and understanding of Ontario's agri-food industry. And third, we gathered intelligence about the Chinese market, which will be used to craft an Ontario medium and long-term trade strategy. China represents, my friends, the largest consumer market in the world. It's a market with changing consumer tastes, where food safety and quality are of paramount importance. And also, my wife, Karen Leo, got a set of pearls. It's very important when you go on those trips. <laughs> in short, in short, it's a market Ontario has much to offer. The Agri-Food Venture Centre here in Coburg will help to support our local farmers, processors, and entrepreneurs. It is my hope, my sincere hope, that we'll also help launch new products that will meet the taste of consumers here at home and indeed, right across the world. Thank you for everyone who has worked to make this center a reality. 
Congratulations on your grand opening. I look forward to the benefits of this center, not only for the entire province, but Colbert and Eastern Ontario. And ladies and gentlemen, I woke up at 5.30 a.m. in the morning. I'm going to cut my remarks right now so I can finally have something to eat. <laughs> thanks so very much, and thanks very much. So I'm up again, that means we're near the end. I'd like to sincerely thank the Premier, Minister Leal, and MPP Rinaldi for their ongoing interest and support for the Ontario Agri-Food Venture Centre and for being present here today. It's certainly a, a personal a thrill for me to have them, uh, have them present because uh, this, this facility is so important uh, to what I believe in. I also wish to thank all the funders of the Ontario Agri-Food Venture Centre for their commitment to help local producers create jobs and support food projects. Without these partnerships, we would not have been able to realize the vision of the Centre. These funders include the Province of Ontario through the Local Food Fund, the Community Futures Development Corporation Network, the Community Futures Development Corporations in Northumberland, Kawartha Lakes, Trenval, Peterborough, North and Centre Hastings, Prince Edward, Lennox and Addington, the Trillium Foundation through Cramie Township, and the Northumberland Federation of Agriculture. Our final item for today is a ceremonial, ceremonial pizza cutting, and we thought it would make sense instead of a ribbon cutting to celebrate the opening by the slicing of a pizza from one of our local caterers.